Hello world and welcome to another episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked Bet You Did Not Know. Here to share some tips, tricks, glitches and simple random facts because I have nothing better to do. Hope you find them useful and if you knew all of them already, good for you. And get out, I'm out of trophies. Here's a cake though. Number 1. Fixing with sandbag. You can fix these flooding machines with few sandbags. But you have to be cautious of where you put the machine in the first place. Before building anything, you must make sure the position will allow sandbags to be placed right next to it. You can figure this out by placing your character in the middle of 4 sandbags as shown in the video. Green lights on all 4 directions suggest it's a suitable place, so go ahead and drop the machine right on your feet. Now once it gets flooded, you will be able to fix it by placing sandbag on one of these four corners. If you're lucky, you'll only have to place one. But if you're me, you'll have to try all four to find a sweet spot. Anyway, once you found a sweet spot, you could get rid of the rest. Number 2. Instant Krampus If you're a successful doi doi farmer, prepare to kill few of them for greater good. Capture two of the doi doi's and bring them to the volcano. Know that the world inside and outside of the volcano are separated, so technically you are holding the last two doi doi's in this world. Thus killing them will instantly spawn Krampus. This doesn't really increase the chance of getting the Krampus sack, but it surely saves a lot of time and effort to spawn a Krampus in the first place. Plus, leaving the feathers in the volcano will prove convenient for future sacrifices in the dry season. Number 3. Hound Shelter Using the beach area, you could build yourself a shelter against hound attacks. Build a structure with one side of the wall a block longer than the other, then double the protection on the shorter side. Then, build yourself a standard fire trap like in the video. By placing a hay wall or two within the walls, you'll be able to light up the fire trap from inside. When the hounds show up, they will all charge towards this specific spot, where you will see them die from fire and ice. Now, if you're up for the risk, this could even work against nightmare mobs to collect nightmare fuels. But know that they could accidentally push each other through the walls and then you'll get yourself the worst roommate in the world. Number 4. Bring back Chester. Don't Star Shipwreck may make you miss one thing. A pet that doesn't eat your food. Fortunately, it is very simple to bring back Chester. When traveling through Seaworthy, the game will make you automatically drop the eye bone. But you could simply click on the eye bone to pick it back up. At first it may seem you have crashed the game, but don't worry, the teleportation will work just fine. However, the items in the Chester does not travel between the worlds and bringing Chester will render the fish bone useless. Chester can't fly, so it may seem unfit to travel from island to island, but put some distances and it will spawn right next to you. Also, it's fun to see him impersonate Jesus time to time. Number 5. Willow and Navi While you sail around as a willow, try and equip your lighter. Now you can not only travel with the light lit all the time, but the fire will stay on permanently when you get on shore and de-equip it. It looks like having a fairy from Legend of Zelda, but less annoying one. Repeating this process few more times will increase the light radius as well. The light's pretty small, but it is bright enough to protect you from Charlie, chop woods, mine boulders, and our favorite, burning random houses down. Number 6. Dragoon Farm Dragoon Heart is essential in creating obsidian item, but it has only 10% drop rate. So you could either hunt every single one like a savage, or exploit the nature like civilized man. The farm looks like this. On one side, there's a room with a monkey ball. Just like the hound shelter, make sure one side of the wall is longer than the other. Then make a room big enough to put a dragoon den, and mind you, it needs to be big. Then place one or two prime ape huts nearby. The monkey will go after the monkey ball on the other side, and naturally aggro the dragoon with his fiery temper. Dragoon is stronger than our ancestors, but soon will be easily overrun. Make sure you build this farm near your base, so the fight goes on and you will collect the spoils once you return. Number 7. Invincible Wallany Wallany can carry her surfboard as an item, 
and that means she could sail around with two boats. This could prove very useful when she is stuck out in the night ocean with no light source. All she needs to do is place the surfboard and keep on jumping from board to boat. This way she will be immune to Charlie and lose very little sanity. This could actually be done with any characters, but it is unlikely that they have two boats available at all times. So guess this is only useful for this specific character. Number 8. Taming the Seal Nado Looks like we have another easy way to kill this cute fella. God, I love my job. Few things you need. First, a decent boat with a sail on land. I showed how to do this on one of my previous videos, and I do not intend to repeat myself, so go check it out yourselves. Then, hire a pig slave, and get a decent melee weapon. You don't even need armor for this. Once the seal NATO spawns, quickly get on boat and run away while your minimum wage pig fights it. As soon as the seal starts charging its area attack, go for it and keep attacking. Since the attack is meant for the pig that is on land, you on your boat is totally safe. Just keep pressing down the auto attack key so you keep the seal nado stun locked. And there you go, you just defeated a boss mob with no armor and losing zero health. Any decent folk will leave this creature be, but not me. And that is it for another episode of Bet You Did Not Know. Those who watched till the end, you guys are awesome, and those who didn't, you guys are still awesome. Hope you enjoyed the video. This was James Bucket, and see you in the next one. Cheers!